Welcome to another video. I'm actually vlogging in the background right there. Just watching some stuff right there. And I'm gonna move the camera. I'm vlogging guys, I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging this day. I'm kind of behind the scenes action, that's what I got going right there. But today what I'm gonna be doing, you guys have been asking for this forever and a fish has hit top water out there. But I'm not I'm not gonna say anything. So <laughs> You guys have been wanting to see this video forever. It's a rod and reel arsenal. I pretty much put all my rods and reels in here. Not including the ones that my dad broke in the past two weeks. He broke, he broke a lot. But uh, <laughs> I like to give him a hard time. But I'm going to go over the rods and reels. And I'm going to try not to make this a super long video. But I'm going to go over, you know. Like if I have some of the same ones, I'll tell you that. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Alright guys, so starting with this first corner of rods. Oh! It's a big, big stack of rods. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off with this. First off, if you guys are wondering why I have a couple treble hooks there and a big one ounce weight, is because my buddy lost his rods in the lake. We we're trying to hook him. Not gonna lie, and uh, that's that's why that's there. So the reel is a Helios TCS, and this is a seven three to one gear ratio reel. That's pretty much what I stand by is seven three to one gear ratio. That's pretty much almost all these reels are seven three to one gear ratio. Um, and the rod that I have it on is a Martin APC. The Martin APC is pretty much, this is also a, this is a TCS rod. This is the Scott Martin series. As you can tell, that's a signature right there. But the Martin APC is definitely my favorite rod out of all the rods that I own. I actually own probably five or six of these. And this is a medium heavy. Um, it's got a little bit more tip. It's not too heavy. That's really why I like it. That's why I fade towards it. And this one's actually seven foot. Um, so it's a seven foot medium heavy rod. Also, I have a few of them that are seven threes. Like I said, I have a lot of these. This is another Martin APC. This is a seven three to one gear ratio reel, and that is the same rod, seven foot medium heavy. That's pretty much my all around, all time favorite rod. So guys, this is my little crankbait rod. This is a crankbait slash jerkbait rod. So this is um this is a medium rod. It's very very light. This is actually this one's actually seven foot. I use it for a little crankbait. The one with the jerkbait, I'll use a smaller rod. Um, and the reel, this is a seven three to one gear ratio reel. And that is also the Helios TCS on a TCS rod. Another Martin APC, and the same exact thing, guys. Seven three to one gear ratio reel, Martin APC. Like I said, I mean that's my favorite. That's just what I go with. I love it. Another one right here, Martin APC. I'm telling you guys, like that's that's my original, that's my original rod that I use. All right, this one's different. This is a power crank rod. This is going to be for crankbaiting. I'm going to be like if I was throwing like a 6XD, 10XD, bigger style crankbaits, I'd be using this rod and reel. And um, I actually got an eight gear ratio reel on here. Reason being, people like to use the slower gear ratio reels when they're crankbait fishing, which I totally get that. But to get that bait down to the bottom, to get it to its maximum depth, I would highly recommend a high gear ratio reel, a high one, to get that bait down there really fast. I don't have any five to one gear ratio reels on this boat, or do I own one Akuma that is a five to one gear ratio reel, just because I honestly thought that through. I was like, I can get the bait down, I can slow down myself. But if you can't slow down yourself, five, uh, five gear ratio reel would be fine with you. So right here I got another Martin APC and this is on a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel as well. The Helios TCS rod, Helios TCS reel. And um, this is actually my fish head rod. This is the medium heavy, this is 7 foot, yep, 7 foot medium heavy. That's what I really like for my fish head. It's got a little bit of tip when you sweep into those fish because you don't want to hook it up on the fish head. Sweep into those fish, penetrate the fish real, real well. Let's see what we got. So right here, I got another jerking crank rod, and this rod is 6'6", so this is great for a jerk bait. This is why I have the jerk bait on this one. It's also on a Helios TCS reel, and that's a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio. Here's another one of those crankbait jerk bait rods, and this is actually a 7 foot 
this is the medium rod. This is kind of like what I have with that other crankbait. Like I said, I like to use little crankbaits on that. And this is a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio Helios TCS reel. All right, for this bad boy, I got a frog swim bait rod. That's the that's the style that they call it. It's a 7.3 heavy. This is one of my favorite rods. I like I like this and the Martin APC. Martin APC. This is actually what I started out with. They sent me one of their rods to try out, and it was the frog swim bait rod. I fell in love with it, but I just wanted some with a little bit more tip, so I went with the Martin APC. It's perfectly fine. It was a phenomenal rod. So this one, um, and this one's actually on 7.3 to one Helios TCS reel. Now, guys, this is like a. Sh I don't know if you guys can really tell how big this reel is. This reel is huge. Like this is any other reel times like three. This is called a Komodo by Akuma. It's a big old Komodo reel, big old swim bait reel. This is a big old swim bait rod. This is one of the guide select swim bait rods. And um, this is, I mean, guys, this is a meat stick. Like I feel like I'm fishing for sharks right now. Hey. <laughs> This thing's this thing's insane. Throwing big old swim baits on this thing, you hook into a fish. I mean, you're, you ain't, you ain't gonna come off. You got no backbone, really. I mean, this thing's just a straight, just meat stick. All right. So moving on over to here, I got the Akuma Helios. This is actually all the other ones over there were the TCS. This is just a standard Akuma Helios. This is actually one of my favorites, especially the real. The Akuma Helios is phenomenal it's absolutely amazing reel but this is not the tournament concept series this is uh, a different series so the regular helios reel which is the green the tcs is going to be the blue and i got it on a regular akuma helios rod i believe this one's seven i want to say seven six yep seven six heavy so guys about throwing other crank baits and stuff the power crank um, this is the same power crank rod that I had before. This is a medium heavy 711 big old rod. And um, this is also on a 7.3 to 1 degree to your reel. Moving on to the Kuma Helios. So that first one that I showed you, it didn't have the micro guys. It did not. Because my dad actually got them, he, he didn't like that. So that's why he got that. So I, I like them though. And uh, they got them right here. A little micro guy. So it's a really clean rod, guys. This is, like I said, this is one of my favorites. I believe this one's another seven, I wanna say a seven six. Yep, seven six heavy powder rod. And this one I actually have on a seven three to one gear ratio Helios reel um, with some braid on it for my top water. Now moving on to something different. I really haven't talked about any spinning reels yet. And I really don't have that many spinning rod spinning rods and reels and this is my drop shot rod this is a drop shot slash finesse rod um this is also the tournament concept series rod fire a akuma reel and um, i got braid on it and this is my drop shot rod this is my standard i got braid going to fluorocarbon on this thing but honestly guys the the sensitivity on this rod is actually really 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 great like i'll drop down with my drop shot i can easily feel the brush pocket feel me scraping against it if the fish grabs onto it i know he's there and um i can really feel the fish breathe on this rod this is a really really great drop shot rod really great sensitive rod and um this one's actually seven foot this is a medium light it's got a lot of tip guys a lot of tip all right guys so moving on to these i got kind of a lot i'm hopping into another spin reel combo but i actually got this one on the helios rod this is one i'll pretty much use with like a shaky head or anything but i actually got a chug bug on here right now with some braid on a spinning reel because this is a really light bait and usually throw it on a spinning reel and uh rod same reel as my drop shot clean little combo right there only thing is this is like the regular this is this one's blue and this one's green I think it looks pretty cool. It matches my logo, so that's fine. Uh, moving on to this one, this is a 7.6 heavy power Helios rod. Most of the Helios that I have are the heavy ones. It's got the micro guides and everything on that. And the reel is a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel, and this is the standard Helios. And that thing, guys, right there, uh, sorry, I got the hiccups. That thing right there will cast like amazing. Something about that Helios, the green ones green ones go check out go check them out on the side if you want to look at more into akuma um and let me know what you think 
So th this one's a frog swim bait rod. I actually got a little punch in here on this one. This is a 7.3 heavy. This one's not, you know, it doesn't have too much tip. It's just got enough tip. So like I said, I, I usually love those frog swim bait rods. Um, I believe my dad was using this one. This was on an 8 to 1, 8 1 to 1 gear issue reel. That's the reel that I'm, I'm using on the punch. Moving on to the Mad Daddy. This is probably what I should be using for that punching rig, but my dad tied it on that one. I do not know why, but that's all right. So I got a designated pole for that. This is actually a 7-Eleven Heavy. This is a very, this is a very long meat stick. And um, it's on a Helios TCS reel. This is a 7-3 to 1 gear ratio reel. But if I switch those reels around, I'll switch the last one that had the braid on it, the 8 to 1 to 1, onto this pole, that'd be a perfect punching and flipping, flipping rod. So here's actually a flipping slash jig rod, and um, this one's a 7.6 heavy. So this is pretty much similar to what I've been talking about with the regular Helios rod, except this is the TCS version of the rod. And um, this, I got it on a Helios TCS reel, seven, or no, this is an eight one to one gear ratio reel. Some of the new reels that they sent me, they were eight to one to one gear ratio reels, not the seven, seven one to one. So they were sending me a lot of eights. And um, right here, I got a crankbait jerk bait rod, seven foot. So this is the one that I'll pretty much use for the little crankbaits. I have like three or four of these. And um, it's on a Helios TCS reel, seven three to one gear ratio. Now guys, moving on to my favorites. I absolutely love these things. The regular standard Helios, I believe this one is 7.6 as well. Now this is a seven foot medium heavy. This, one, this is gonna have a lot more tip. It's gonna be similar to that Mart, the Martin APC rod. And I'm gonna have it on a regular standard Helios reel, a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio. All right, so right here, I got an Akuma Helios spinning reel. This is actually the bigger um, and I got it on a Akuma graphite rod. So this one, this one's a little bit different. This I actually had before I was ever with Akuma. So um, I pretty much stuck to the Helios TCS series pretty much when I got my stuff from Akuma. But this I actually had before and I, I never used it. So now I can use it. So I've got a Helios, this is a seven six. I mean, this is seven foot heavy, seven foot heavy. It's pretty much like that um, frog swim bait rod in the TCS series. And this is on a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel and is the standard Helios. And the last rod, guys, we're popping off this last rod. This is a frog swim bait rod. It should be 7.3, I believe. Yep, 7.3 heavy. And the reel that I have it on, Helios TCS, 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. Guys, that is all my rods and reels. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. To be completely honest, I don't, I don't know. This is what you guys were asking for. I don't know. You know, this is kind of a boring video, I guess I can say that I made. And but you guys just wanted to see this, and you guys asked for it, so I'm gonna give it to you guys. This is what you were looking for. Leave a comment below. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. But guys, I pretty much just showed you all my rods. This is what I got going right now from Akuma. Big shout out to them because I want to have all these rods without them. Their uh, their support's amazing with me. And um, you guys support's amazing with me. So if you guys give me video ideas, I'm gonna definitely hop on it now, guys. I really, I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to get some crap done. I'm ready to expand Kicking Their Bass TV and just blow it up, guys. And if you guys wanna check out some of my clothing and just spread the word about Kicking Their Bass TV, please go click the link below. I have it in the description and you can go check out. I'm actually gonna probably go pick up, I'm vlogging today, guys. So. I'm probably gonna go pick up my shirts. I got some new ones. It's called the this the Muscle Fish shirt. So instead of like the little fins, instead of like the little fin right there in the hand, it actually has his arms crossed like this, and it looks it looks mean, guys. It's got some big old arms on him. It looks it looks sick. So I'm gonna definitely go pick those up later. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.